Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 13th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and these readings usually play out for me in a few days, okay? So, we're just going to see what comes up. Queen of Cups, Four of Swords reversed, Wheel of Fortune reversed. So, Queen of Cups is typically in the upright. This is an emotional, um, but it's. I feel like it's emotionally. Um, controlled in some way because somebody is controlling their emotions or they have been because this is in my past position but I don't care about positions just so you know I don't care about positions I mean I go with what my gut tells me and the Queen of Cups is very intuitive so that's an energy everything that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading um, so there is some sort of uh, need to master emotions and perhaps somebody has been mastering their emotions very, very well, turning their back on a situation, or they have turned their back on a situation. This could be self-love. Um, Four of Swords reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that is very tired, extremely tired, fed up. Um, Wheel of Fortune reversed is a setback. It's bad news. It's bad luck. That is coming. That's around the corner. Okay. So we have some sort of, um, it feels like it's an emotional setback that is coming. Okay. And I feel like, yeah, the things have been, um, emotions have been controlled, but I feel like the Wheel of Fortune to me in reverse is a loss okay it is because in the upright is it is good luck it is uh, a change of course it's very positive so but I, this is the opposite so I feel like we have we may have somebody here that is sick they could be extremely sick they could be extremely ill um, this is a horrendous loss um, it's a, it's very very emotional because the Queen of Cups reacts on feelings typically I feel like we have somebody here that has been controlling their emotions, but I, I feel like there's going to be some sort of setback that is going to affect their heart or affect their emotions, okay? Somebody's emotions are about to be affected, put it that way. Um, four of Swords reverse. Now, the Three of Swords comes before that. So there's there's been some sort of pain. Somebody may have healed from some pain, but it, there could be something resurfacing or coming back around with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something isn't over yet. It's not over yet, but it's about to be over. It needs to be over because the Wheel of Fortune is here. Somebody's past mistakes may be coming back to haunt them. Or something like that with the because the, the wheel of fortune reverse something coming back around this could be karma could be destiny something is coming back around something's not working out there's some sort of despair for that four of swords emptiness loss Nine of Cups. Queen of Wands reversed. Four of... There is loss here. Absolutely here. There is. Um, we have somebody here that has been going overboard. Okay. They've been going to extremes. Uh, it almost... 
it feels like we have somebody here that has been gloating. They've been living a good life. It almost feels like we have a show off here. We have a show off that is about to experience a setback. This person is very, very smug. Four of Wands reversed is a messy situation. It is messy. This is going to be messy because in the upright, there's some sort of get together or party or celebration or a marriage or a commitment that is falling apart. This is like a separation or it's, it's time to clean up this mess. The party is over. This party is over. Okay, it's over. This is messy. It's time to clean up the mess. It's kind of like when you go to the festival and you have a little, lot of fun and then it's over and now it's a huge mess. This is a huge mess. It's like you go to a wedding and the wedding is over. Somebody's got to clean up the mess. We have a mess here. This is a mess. Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like there's been some sort... I feel like there's illness here. I just got to be honest. I feel like somebody has been going overboard, maybe with drinking. It doesn't have to be drinking, but whoever this person is that is going overboard has been ignoring something. They've been ignoring the signs. We have a couple of fours here. Fours are, are signs. Okay? Somebody's been ignoring the signs. They've been ignoring their health, I believe. And overdoing it in some way and I feel like there's some sort of I feel like there's some sort of setback here this is like a sh I hate to say it but the Wheel of Fortune reverse is an unpredictable loss may have something to do it has to do with a commitment I feel like we, we have somebody here that's not there's no growth or there's or there's some sort of illness I feel like there's an illness there's there's tired really really tired really really sleepy having a hard time getting up no ambition no drive no enthusiasm it's 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 an it's negative okay this is a negative energy and I'm, obviously it is there also could be some self-medicating here, and self-medicating can happen in many different forms, okay? It could be drinking alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be food, you know, whatever it is, some sort of addiction. I feel like we have an addiction here. And I see weak. I feel like there's weakness. There's, there's, there's weakness. Somebody is, their health is not improving, put it that way. Somebody may need a nurse, they may need counseling, they may need help, they need some uh, tender love and care, put it that way. Anyhow, um, I, what is this Queen of Wands reversed? Now the Queen of Wands reversed is typically an individual who... Uh, is controlling this is somebody that is controlling but I, I I feel I feel like there's some sort of hysterical this is his, hysterical so somebody may uh, experience a loss and become hysterical there's also there could also be some sort of revenge here or manipulation. I feel like we have an unhealthy commitment or an unhealthy uh, situation here that is about and whatever this unhealthy situation is, there's about to be a setback or bad news or bad luck. Somebody has not been going in the right direction. It's almost like they've been fighting a change. Uh, not committing themselves to change to they haven't been committing themselves to uh, a better life or something like that there's no commitment here no commitment to uh, new paths and we and whoever this person is I feel like they're 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 sickness there is sickness here it's interesting I was going to say in sickness and health, but it feels like it's a not in sickness and health. 
Um, oh, we got two. This is poor health. Star card reversed is poor health. Why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Uh, there's some sort of illness. There's arrogance. There's a loss of willpower. Uh, somebody is depleted. They are probably uh, very unhealthy. I do believe there's some challenging news that is coming. There is. There is some challenging news that is coming. This is not... It's a, it, this is not going to make you happy, okay? It's not. This is not happy news, and I'm not going to pretty it up like everybody wants me to. There is definitely some challenging news that is coming. Somebody has been living the good life. They have been abundant. They have been overdoing it, uh, trying to do too much. This person has been ignoring their their health. And I feel like there's a fall. There could be a fall, an actual fall. Or this is a fall from grace with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like we have a commitment that is... Uh, complicated it is definitely complicated i think that there is some sort of uh, unprepared this is a loss that you're unprepared for it's an unprepared loss news is coming it's good. it's challenging information somebody is uh deciding they're deciding to walk away that's what it looks like to me I feel like they're deciding to walk away from a commitment they don't want to be in the commitment anymore and it, I think it, whatever this commitment is there's no commitment here this isn't fun anymore there's there's nothing to celebrate this is bad news this is bad news I can't pretend that it's not in the past there was wish fulfillment in the past there was a good life and and but I don't feel it's obvi obviously we have a change here and there's been resistance to change it's like when what you resist persists. So something is persisting. We have some persistence here, okay? Somebody has been resisting, you know, going in a new direction. But I feel like um, they're in very, very poor, poor, poor health. And, you know, maybe they haven't wanted any help. They haven't been, they've been refusing to uh, acknowledge the truth. But this is some sort of truth, some sort of fact, some sort of information that is coming out. Um, somebody's going to be getting some news. It's not happy news. It's not. And it's going to cause hysterics and it could probably cause tears. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But this is, the Queen of Cups tends to be emotional and it starts out with tears even though this is in the past but I and usually I want to say it's my past position but I feel like we have somebody ha that has been able to control their emotions they have been working on themselves you know they've been focusing on themselves they have probably I feel like we have somebody here that has ignored a health problem whether they've ignored a health problem with themselves or somebody that they are committed to there's ignorance here there is. I just feel like there's ignorance here. Somebody has ignored a problem and now it's coming back to be dealt with. Something is coming back around to be dealt with. Intents are completion. So I think we have a cycle that is ending. We have somebody here that is definitely ill. They are unhealthy. They're in, and maybe they're just in an unhealthy commitment. Anyhow, I mean, the King of Swords is, is a conversation. I feel like uh, may have something to do with, I may have something to do with a father. May, whoever this person is that this information is, is, or if it's not a father, it's a person that is in a position of authority. This is somebody that, you know, is a boss or a leader or something like that. 
this news is about that person. This person is is sitting back. So it's like they're sitting back in their chair. There's and it could be a male or a female. This person is sitting on their throne, you know, and they could literally be sitting on the throne. Every word, take it for what it is. Okay, somebody is sitting, it's like they're sitting in their chair, they're sitting on their throne, and they're just living a good life, and uh, there's something that happens that is not, or it's news, it's news, or it's information, or something happens that uh, doesn't it's not good news it's it's unhappy news it's with the four of wands reversed in the star card this is not what you hoped for you didn't want to hear this okay there is some sort of communication coming that you do not want to hear and it may uh cause emotions it might may cause things may cause somebody to become hysterical or emotional or something like that um and the the star card reversed is a is a test of faith okay why is this happening why is this happening i feel like there is a there could be another person here another another woman or another man Okay, there could be another person here that is reuniting with another person because the Four of Wands can be a reunion. Somebody may be reuniting with somebody that they are destined to be with. Perhaps it's time. There is some sort of horrendous loss, okay, with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. And I feel like there is something coming back around. There's probably some unfinished business and they're in... Be prepared to hear some news. Okay. I also feel like there's some justice. For some reason, I keep looking at that King of Swords and I keep thinking justice. Somebody may have been wishing. They have been. They have been wishing and praying for, you know, uh, justice. Or praying for the truth or whatever I do believe there is some sort of truthful information factual information that is about to come out it may not be what you want to hear it probably isn't what you want to hear I feel like we have somebody here that is um, depleted they are depleted they're they're probably uh, they need help. I feel like they need help and they've been resisting it. And there there could be some sort of, I don't know. I mean, the Four of Swords is, you know, it is, uh, it could be the death of a person or idea because of illness, sickness, you know, uh, no growth. Um, fours are about foundations. And we have a foundation that is not healthy for for not healthy. We definitely have somebody. And a foundation can be a body. It can also be a home. It's It could be a job. I, I, but the way that I feel this, I feel like this is somebody's health. I think this is about health. I also feel like we have a commitment here that is not healthy. So, however, I think it, it, and when you are in a commitment or a partnership or a situation that is not healthy, it will absolutely positively affect your overall health. And it's like there's a lack of healing here. Somebody hasn't been healing because of the Four of Swords reversed and the Star card reversed and... You know, somebody, and I also feel like we have somebody here that is giving up. They're giving up. They're giving up on the commitment. They're giving up on their dreams. <sighs> Anyhow, I do believe that uh, there could be a wake up call here. Somebody, because of that King of Swords, somebody may be getting a wake or they may be getting some sort of truthful, factual information uh, that shocks them. Because when I get the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it's a shocking, unpredictable loss. Um, there could be a, a separation for in a marriage. There could be some upcoming news of legal matters. You know, divorce. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. 
um, There could also, with that Four of Swords, I think we have somebody here that is unhealthy and they may not make it because they have refused to get help and it's like they they just don't have any desire. They don't have any desire to uh, get help or and they've been ignoring the problem. We have negative, repetitive patterns here. And there's arrogance as well. We have somebody here that is very, very arrogant, very, very prideful, that hasn't wanted to take any action. This person just wants to sit there and live the high life and ignore the signs that their health is failing or that their commitment is failing or it has failed anyhow with that king of swords there's going to be a challenging conversation okay or challenging information that is coming that is going to be I think it's going to be hard to deal with you may ask why 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 is why now why now something is coming back around to be dealt with good luck